Welcome to Two Finger Spirits. We got James. Yeah. I got, <laughs> I got thanks. thanks for coming. Wow. Thank Thank you. We got Pete. Hello. We don't know where the camera track camera guy is. He's missing again. M I A again. Wow. This is really. I don't get it. I don't think he's, is he leaving us? I don't know. He, he's my favorite homunculus. <laughs> Is he working for somebody else now? Oh, maybe, maybe maybe he's uh, doing maybe reviews with somebody else. Maybe the bourbon, bourbon junkies took him. They took him. Oh, wow. 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 Somebody got him. Yeah. yeah. Well, what are we drinking? Old Forester single barrel, barrel strength. Nice. And I think it's worth mentioning this is a store pick from Liquor Depot, Interesting. which is where are they? They're in like Chicago. Oh, oh I wow. think I think I forget. So we're getting bottles from Chicago. Yeah, right? yeah. Right. I got my friend. Patrick Medusa, who is one of the most generous guys you'll ever want to meet, such a such a great guy. He's got me so many different bottles. Yeah. Um, hats off to him. Oh, oh, he's we, nice dark well, we color. Thank you, Patrick. I appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's a great guy. He is so, just a wonderful. What's the name of uh, this group again? What do we call it? What do we What do we call? Oh, Two Finger Spirit. Two Finger Spirit. Yeah, because someone forgets that sometimes. What are we doing here? Did I not say welcome to Two Finger Spirit? No, you just you did, but I think you just poured three fingers. <laughs> right, that's fine. Ah. Fair enough. Pour away, I say. Oh, I put a nipple on it? <laughs> oh, oh, no. With you, it's probably... It's yeah! yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a kiss show here. Watch out. Uh, better off being a sippy strive. Oh, uh, you say. James, I don't know what you were I'll, thinking. I'll tell you. And we, we did Old Forester Row before, right? We, we did some yeah. the whole awesome. Row. We did some great mm -hmm. bourbons and... Uh, Really enjoyed really a lot of them. Old Forester, yeah. I can tell you right off the bat though, the color That's on this one is darker than all the others. Nice, yeah. Right? That is great color. Yeah. Old Forester, obviously a brown foreman product. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Brown foreman. They also right. own who? Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels. Yeah. Your favorite. Your favorite. Your favorite. Your favorite. Jack. Right. So what's the uh, mash bill on this one? So Pete? mash bill on this one is seventy-two corn, eighteen percent rye, and ten percent malted barley. Okay. Uh, this is a hundred and twenty-eight point seven proof. So this is lighter. Yeah. It's not a light. Uh, What's the proof? 127, uh, 128.7. Oh, okay. So, and this is, um, I suppose this is Every barrel's going to be different because it's a single barrel. But, sure. So right. that's what we've got today. That's, that's what right. we have today. Right. And this is a store pick. So I wonder how high it goes. I wonder, right. you know, what they're... I, I want to say that, I think they were from 125 to 135. Well, because to, I think to be uh, a bourbon, it's got to be under 140 proof. True. Right. Right. True. Yep. So 135 was you heard was. Well, I, I, I saw a range when I was doing some research on this. I kind of got a range from 125 cool. up to 135 on these. So we're good. We're 127 is a good good range to be. Yeah. In. Yeah. We're in the range. Yeah. So that's good. MSRP on this was about 80. Around 80. I think we paid a little bit more for it. Just I paid a little know. bit more. But uh, shipping, shipping and stuff. And, you know. Yeah. Well, that might be great. But uh, supposedly this is an, uh, an ongoing release that Ooh. is now so now it's replacing, replacing the regular single barrel. Uh, uh, which uh, they usually which kept at 100 proof? At 90 proof. Which we have. Which I have. Yeah, we got the bottle. Yep. And we're yeah. going to do a, a review of the 86 proof. We're going to review <coughs> the raw. Yeah, it's a great everyday. It's a 100 proof that you turned around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a few more small forces that, you know, we really enjoy that. You know what? Yeah. I mean, I, 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 haven't, I haven't one I haven't liked yet, to be honest with you. The, the best thing about Old Forester, too, is that you can find so it. It's available, available everywhere. Really every, available. every packer store, liquor store in your area, it even really a little is. small little one near your home, it's amazing. they're going to have a bottle of, of yeah. you know, one of the line. So, all right, what do you think of the nose? thing. Ooh. I get, wow. I get cherry. I cherry. get typical. Cherry, I get like cherry, yeah. cherry NyQuil. Yeah, yeah. I get, cherry I, NyQuil. Um, I get a little bitterness. I get tart, like almost like Granny Smith apples as well. I get more tart than bitter, but I mean the tart and the bitter could be could similar, be, yes, yeah, right? right. Also, you, it might. I get live oak too, like a bright live a oak. A green oak, yeah, right, like still green. Yeah, yeah, still green. Yeah. Like fresh split oak. Yeah. Um, there's a little bit of sweet in there. It's just not. It's not. Not heavy. Um, the, the sweet is. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe part of. A, a little bit, of, you and know. This has been open for a, a week or two. Almost like a buttery sweet, a little, a little bit of sweet to it. I'm not getting any sweet. Uh, yeah, the cherry um, that I'm getting is like a candy. No, every, the, the like sweet, candy fruit. So sweet, sweet, yeah. The cherry, the cherry's bright for me. Yeah. It's not, um, not sweet cherry, but I'm, but I'm getting an underlying sweetness somewhere, but it's kind of at the back of the nose. It's like a dark cherry, maybe, or something yeah. like that. I'm getting grass. grass. I get no sweetness. I get bitterness. Really? Like cut grass. Or just no fresh grass, like right, if you yeah, were laying just, down in the lawn. In the lawn, yeah. Interesting. Okay. I don't lay. You lay in the lawn? Mm, Sometimes right. he does. Mm. I seen your back here. I've driven well, by. I've, I've, I've driven by. I passed out. We all passed out. Laying in the lawn, passing in the lawn. When you wake up, you lay. You lay. 
Right. All right. Well, that's a pleasant nose, man. It's a. It's a it is a pleasant nose. Happening, though. But you know what? I think the no This to me, it's a little more complex than some of the old forces that we've had. True. Nose wise. Yeah. It's different. Having that barrel strength with that's not diluted as much. I think you get a little bit more. Yeah. Strength. Yeah. Okay. You know, and, and then the other nice part about this, and you and I have talked. When you first cracked this, it was not. It was underwhelming. You know, and now it's been open for a little bit. And it's air in it. Things change a little bit. Things change a little bit. You know? Yeah. Well, I've had enough smell on it. I want to taste it. Cheers, guys. It's going to be weird, but I get I get smell of chicken parm. I don't know if I'm hungry or what, but... What the hell's wrong with no, it's not No, it's not that. We've got chicken cooking. We do have chicken cooking, but I get... I don't know why. I get... Chicken parm? Yeah, it's weird. What the hell's wrong with it? I don't know. I know. Well, we... You know, that's because we're having an air fryer going with chicken. No, it's not that. that. I get... I don't know. Recently, I had chicken parm that smelled like that. Okay, let's go. Well, cheers. Cheers, guys. Ooh, now it, after sipping it and smelling it again, the nose really, the wow. ethanol comes out. I'm getting like lasagna, social peppers. Are you? Good for you. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> Are you hungry? Maybe we're hungry. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm right. Just, wow. It's big bowl flavor. Um, I still get some of that cherry. I still get some of that nice bright oak. My, my, my cherry is more like... Um, Cherry cough medicine. Yeah, I was gonna say cherry nyquil. Yeah, I get um, I get like the cherry halls type. I'm getting some like cherry halls. I, yeah, or you know, like a cough drop cherry. And the ludens. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah that's kind of what I'm getting. Yeah. I'm yeah. also getting some nuttiness, some like, uh, I don't know, some roasted uh, walnut or chestnut. See, I think the roasted nuts is is common with the brown forming it products. Is. It right? is. But I'm not so I think we all received that. I'm not getting it. No, I'm not I'm getting, getting one, peanut, but, I'm getting, but I do have like some like, uh, I don't know, maybe chestnut or something like that. Uh, I also get some leather in it as well. I don't know. Like, I get dry oak. Mm. I get. It's there. The oak is there. For sure. Okay. I mean, uh, I get tree bark. Like, um, a dr- a dry? Very dry? Yeah. Ooh. I mean, I get a little spice in the finish. Uh, I get a little bit of heat, a little bit of pepperiness. I do get a little bit of pepperiness, heat. Yeah. I, I kind of, and um, I get a little bit of sweetness as well. I get a little bit of like burnt caramel or, uh, you know. Mm, I was about to say like, but it's uh, onion skin. Onion skin, okay. I've onion never skin. gotten onion skin on a on a whiskey. Well, like there's that dry, that's different. That dry, like papery kind of like smell to it, but almost like the. The, the hint of onion too. Really? Yeah, that's weird. That's it's weird. It's, it's almost as weird as chicken parm. <laughs> that's <laughs> up there in the same range. Yes, it is. Uh, no, the finish is the finish lasts. It's it's, it's kind of nice. I mean, I, I, I kind of like this. Yeah. What do you get on the finish? I mean, it's um, I get a little peppery. I get a little like a uh, little little dry walnut, walnut okay. tannin. Um, um, a little bit of a little bit of a touch of bitterness from the from the tannins as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it lingers. It's it's good mouthfeel, good good coverage. Um, I like it. it. Makes me crave another sip of it. You know, it mm-hmm. does. A little warmth to it. I mean, I like the proof. You know, one one twenty eight is you know a little bit in my wheelhouse. Yeah, the proof is there. Um, you know, I think it drinks like a over a hundred proof for sure on my end. Yeah, it, it's drinking at a higher proof. I agree. Um, I don't think it drinks really hot. Not hot, but I can tell it's over 100, 150, yeah, 120 yeah, you can, yeah. Well, yeah. And, and we're coming off the heels of uh, the I'm light like, whiskey yeah. from Cat's Eye. Yeah, which is... And this, right. this drinks hotter this, than that. It does drink hotter. Really? See, yeah. I, 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 but I'm like, I get, I get, you know, I think I do see that that pepperiness, that little, little in the finish. Yeah. That's a little hotter than those. Mm-hmm. But this is good flavor. This is, to me, it's really good. I, I think I just, I think, honestly, I really haven't had a, a whole force that I haven't liked it. And I think I like the flavor profile in general. Uh, but this is good flavor. It's so, good flavor. dry as hell. Yeah, it's a little bit dry. Mm-hmm. Um, this is probably the first old force that I'm not a fan of right really? now. Really? You're not a fan? I'm not a fan of right now. But, again, I could maybe revisit it again for a second pour later so, on. I think so. um, I, I think there's other ones that I've enjoyed better than this so, so far. So I also think this is one you, if you fill a glass of it, we have a regular pour of this. Yeah. We sat here for 45 minutes to an hour and kind of sipped a glass of it. I think we're wearing you a little bit and you go, oh, well, that's pretty good. You probably, you, you might be right. Yeah, you might be right. like cut wood, sawdust. Oh, you yeah, that dry. Well, it's dry. Well, it's dry. It's dry. It's dry. It's dry. It's dry. I, don't, 
I, I like it. I mean, I, I'm not, like you said, I'm not, I'm not sure I'm saying it. Okay. No, I, I think, I, but it does have a little bit of sweetness in it as well, man. Uh, I'm not getting the sweetness on the palate. On the nose, I do. So yeah, you know, I see, I'm still getting a little bit of that, you know, that cherry. I don't get much sweetness at all. And I, got, I love the color. I like, you know, the, I like the color. I like the proof. No, I'm it's just, not, not overly sweet, but I'm You're getting, underwhelmed. Yeah, I'm, I'm just. No, I like it. Eh. Like it should be better for for what it is. I thought it would be better. Yeah. Well, for yeah. for all right. I thought all right. So so to to put price in in the, in the perspective here. Mm-hmm. For eighty dollars for this bottle, mm. one I can buy a Prohibition one nineteen twenty for like fifty five. Or the, even the nineteen what nineteen ten was it? The, I thought you know I was surprised how good that was. Actually. Right. Mm. So to put that in perspective and say all right, do I do I choose the nineteen twenty over this? Over this. I probably do. <laughs> yeah. And I like this. You know, when you start to put You like it more mm-hmm. than James and I. I do. I would go with the Booker's over this. Okay. Booker's is around the 85 MSRP. This is 80. Right. Um, Booker's is Jim Beam. This is... This this tastes good to me. Your I, favorite. I, I do like the flavor, but like when, you, when you put cost involved, I mean, some of the other offerings from all four, so to me, I would, I would even choose... And I'd say what? Those light whiskeys that we did, the Cat's Eye? Oh, they're mm-hmm. for 60, 60 bucks. bucks. That's Those awesome. were fantastic. Amazing. Maybe Amazing. we should have did this one first, but it's underwhelming. I think it's underwhelming. Uh, Look time's up, folks. That's, that's it. it. Yeah. Good night. See you later. <laughs> Chicken's ready. Um, sausage and peppers. <laughs> it's all ready. Oh, I thought that was the dryer. Was that James' uh, panties? Uh, his panties are ready. Oh, my panties are ready. <laughs> I don't know. I, I like this. You guys are shot. I do like this. Oh, I like the flavor. But cost involved, and there's other things I would choose first. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I'm well, that's not good. A fan. I'm not a fan. Really? Yeah, I would. I would be upset if I bought this for eighty dollars. I am, James. Yeah. I am upset. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> if you need me to take it off your hands, I'd be more than happy to. All right, all right eighty bucks for the rest of this. <laughs> it's not an eight dollar bourbon. Do I get a discount? It's not an eight dollar no bourbon, but uh, no friends and family discount. I'd like to see the Russell's Reserve as a single barrel barrel select uh, barrel yeah. proof. Yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Well, if you've had it, who makes the Russell Reserve? Uh, uh, Wild Turkey. Wild Turkey. That's right. I yeah, forgot that. That is right. Yeah. Yeah. And you know I'm a fan of them too. Which they make. I mean, that yeah, it's the, the distiller. Good. The distiller, right? Now, he see, made, they, uh, they did the, the long, distiller made. Well, that's Eddie, Eddie Russell. Went on, yeah. Oh, I thought they, they did the Long Branch with McConaughey, and they did the Russell they, Reserve. No, Kurt Russell. Uh, no, it's Eddie Russell. Oh, not Kurt Russell. Not from not Kurt Russell. Very different. He makes bourbon and movies. No shit. No shit. Yeah, right. no, a little bit wrong, right? Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. That guy's amazing. <laughs> wow, he's very talented, multi-talented. No, but um, uh, well, we're going to try some of those wild turkey hey, parts. It, yeah. I, do, I do have some of the rare yeah. breed, the rare rye. I haven't had I many of them, though. You're, but I'm you're, a fan. You're I'm a fan. Yeah. So what do you think of this? I mean, does anyone have you know a single barrel pick from Old Foster? Um, what proof was it? Yeah. Where did you get it from? Yeah, I'd love do to you hear like it. it? love to hear it. I'm not a... I'm, I mean... I'm a fan, but I'm not a fan. I'm torn right now. It's my first time with this one, so you. I don't. I'm not gonna buy it. I like Old Forester. I do, but I'm not, honest, I want to like this. It's one of those not there. Like, it's not there. I felt sure. If you like their flavor short. profile, yeah. and, and you you you've had a lot of other offerings, and you like them, to me, this is the one you should try, because I think it's worth trying. And who's your master taster? He's cute, right? Uh, oh, uh, Jackie. Jackie. Jackie's not Jackie's a carrying. Jackie. 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 Z- you get a bottle? Yeah. Z- Zadak or something, something like that. Yeah, I don't yeah. Know. Yeah. She's nice. I like her. No, she's, she's and cool. super knowledgeable too. Yeah, she, she knows, knows her stuff. Yeah. Knows her shit. But uh, these guys from uh, Liquor Depot in Chicago, they picked the wrong barrel, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's Chicago, isn't it? Chicago. Yeah. Dish, deep dish pizza. Ah, that's, ah, why. That, that's what comes down to they like deep dish pizza. It's windy so there all the time. We're from New Haven. Yeah. We yeah. know what pizza is. They know what pizza is like. Big cross. Right. Coal fire. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, as always, it's always fun. Yeah. Tasting whiskey, enjoying it, trying different things. And we got it with great guys. I minus one. Minus wow. one who's not here. Who's not here? The camera guy. Missing for camera weeks. shy, camera guy. If you're out there, come home you? to us. Yes, we I miss you. We miss you. I put my posters on my telephone poles. Go Have to you your, seen go this? To your home. Have you seen this homunculus? Go to your home. home. Yeah. Go to your home. We miss you. Anyway, like, subscribe. Yeah. Instagram, Facebook. YouTube. Bottom sure. line, I'm not buying it. I am. Um, not keeping it. No. Not I will. Yeah, well, someone's got it. Cheers. Someone's got it.